Hello and welcome to Sheridan Terrace, this beautiful area of Poets Corner in Hove BN3. Um, now today we've got a slightly larger than normal um, family home due to the fact, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is that they, the loft extension was done quite a few years ago when you could actually put a dormer on the front. Um, so it is larger, um, so I'm going to show you that around that. I'm going to give you a full tour of the house and uh, obviously any questions you've got after just give me a call and we can go from there. But uh, let me uh, show you around this fine house. Okay, so here we are. So we're at number eight Sheridan Terrace. Now, as I mentioned just earlier, you can see up there. So that is one, well, that's the loft conversion. You're not allowed to do that anymore. As you'll notice up here, none of the other properties have got it. So it is actually larger than what you could do now. So that's really good news. You've actually got four bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful from the outside. They've had the windows replaced. Got those lovely um, plantation shutters, really nice. Poets Corner itself, very family orientated area. Um, you've got excellent shops, bars, cafes, public houses um, close by, show you the top of the road as well. Um, what's also good for commuters, you've got Aldrington Station literally a couple of minutes walk away. Um, but what you've also got is Hove Station with direct links into London uh, in just under an hour and that's around 10, 12 minute walk away. So there we are, Let's, um, I'll show you the quick front as well. Beautiful little front garden here. Without further ado, let me show you inside. Okay, come on in. Greeted by a nice wide hallway, take off your shoes and coats and things like that. Go straight into the reception room. So you've got a nice bright double reception room here. Um, originally, just turn you around here. This would have been one room because you've got the door there. You've got these beautiful plantation shutters. A lot of people putting these in now, very popular. Um, okay. And you've got the room there. Nice dining area. You've also got, remember the serving hatches from the 70s? Well, you've got one of those there as well. So there's that. Um, what a lot of people do, well, say a lot of people, some people do, if you want to go all grand designed, you can put or extend to the side there, it's called filling in the eel, doing the side return, and it makes a huge difference. You can put sort of a, a glass roof um, above it, take that wall down there, and it really makes a huge difference. It's quite expensive to do. You don't really need to do it because the kitchen is such a good size anyway, but there are options to extend further should someone wish. Um, the owners have spent some money here, which is really clever. You've got some storage all the way down there, which opens like that, and you've also got another storage cupboard there. So going to the kitchen, nice big size. Yeah, good size. Some of these are smaller than others or larger than others. This is certainly one of the larger ones. Got a recent combination boiler, which is very good, should keep you warm. Um, all the windows in the property are recent and they're all double glazed. Got a dishwasher down there. So I still get used to this gimbal. Um, oven, hood large fridge, freezer, everything like that. Kitchen's perfectly good, good condition. It's certainly upgradable if should you wish, but it's nice. Um, let's go out here. Now I've been told there's a tortoise out here, so um, I'll watch out for that. But it's a nice size garden. This is private because you've got this beautiful old wall at the back, which I really like. Um, so it's a big space. So nice places to sit. There's your neighbors. Gardens over there. Okay, so that is the ground floor. I shall now take you back in and show you upstairs. So first of all, we have this room here at the back. Nice and bright, every room is bright in this property. Um, so you've got a cot there, cupboard, chest of drawers. You've still got space, so that's a nice room. Now what you do have, is a laundry room. So they've got a tumble dryer in there. Also there's a window behind, extra storage. How useful is that? Nice hallway here. Take you into the second bedroom. Got a fitted cupboard there. Again, nice double glazed window. And that's that. Of course you've got 
little bit of storage there. We take you through. So this is the first family bathroom. I'll show you the second one in a moment. Nice big window in there, loo, bath, basin, all the things you'd expect. Now I hope you're cat lovers because you've got a beautiful cat there. Morning cat. Hello. This is a beautiful, nice double bedroom. Again, very bright, got the lovely shutters. Give you a quick tour outside. That's the cat. So yeah. There. Okay. And what you also have is a cupboard here. Very useful indeed. Okay, I will take you up to the second floor. Now the thing of note about this, it feels like you're just going up into the first floor. So this is obviously going up to the loft, but it's been done so well, the stairs feel wide. It just feels like a continuation of the first floor. You also have is some storage in here, which goes all the way back there, um, which is very, very useful indeed. So that is that. Okay, now remember I said, or I showed you one family bathroom, check out this family bathroom, it's a huge. Nice and bright, big window in there. Loo, basin, very big bath. Now coming into the fourth double bedroom, so remember four double bedrooms, two bathrooms. You've got this lovely room up here. Nice views, modern meets period, which is lovely. What's that? There's me. What is this silly gimbal doing? Just give you the tour. You've also got a cupboard in there, which is actually very big. Um, so you're not short of storage space in here. Okay, so that completes the end of the tour. Let me. Uh, well, I'll move uh, position, we'll have a little chat. Okay, thank you very much for watching. That's the end of the tour. Um, anything I haven't covered, any questions you have, please drop me an email, give me a phone call. My name is Russell Chilvers, and I shall be your tour guide. Um, just another thing of note, so Poets Corner, it's an extremely nice area. The majority, they're all houses, so it's a very community feel around here. It's very family orientated. You've got excellent um, schools and nurseries close by. Um, you've got the seafront, about a 15 minute walk. Um, you've got a large Tesco, about a 10 minute walk. Um, also within the community, I know there's lots of sort of um, Facebook groups, community groups, things like that. Um, so it's very easily, if you're not familiar with the area, to get acquainted and, and meet new friends and neighbours and things like that. Um, again, I've, I've mentioned the numerous public houses, um, cafes, shops, things like that. Hove is a really, really nice area to live in. Um, it's excellent. So, you know, come and check it out. Come and check it out, then have a wander around, have a coffee afterwards, things like that. You know, see how you feel, but it's very nice indeed. Um, I shall look forward to your call and I shall even more look, so look forward to showing you around. Thanks very much.